Hi. So what is bisexual discrimination? Well, I'm an author, I like words. Let's talk about what the definition of discrimination is. Discrimination is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of a different category of people. Okay, so like, so technically speaking, when a black person uh, is unjust to another black person, technically speaking, it doesn't fall under the, the term discrimination. It could be something else, but it's not really discrimination. So when we talk about bisexual discrimination, it would be when someone who is not bisexual treats someone who is bisexual unfairly. So that means there are two groups of people who could possibly be treated bisexual unfairly, and that's people who are straight and then people who are gay. People who are straight, they, they don't, they, let's be real, they don't, they don't always understand that bisexuality is a real thing and that, you know, there's discrimination and all that stuff. Let's just be real. But the other group would be the lesbians and the gays. The lesbians and gays believe in discrimination. They just don't believe that it happens to bisexuals, you know, in large part. Uh, they even have a phrase for it. They call it bisexual privilege, which is basically code word for you can't have anything wrong happening to you because you aren't gay like me. That's what bi privilege means. Um, but obviously bisexual discrimination exists, but I think it might exist in different forms than most people are thinking about looking at. Obviously, if you can't get a job because you're bisexual, it's obviously bisexual discrimination. Or if you can't, let's say you couldn't join the army because of it, it's obviously bisexual discrimination. But I think because so many bisexuals are mistaken for straight people, those aren't the type of discriminations that bisexuals feel the most often, unless they are in a same-sex relationship, which of course bisexuals are known to do because that is what bisexual means. In which case, then they might not be able to get a hotel at a, a place or be treated differently at a restaurant because they are with the same-sex partner. And when that happens, that's not homosexual discrimination because, not against you, because you're bisexual. So that would be bisexual discrimination, just bisexual discrimination when you are with your partner. Um, but I think that if we bisexuals really looked at uh, the moments when we are treated unfairly by an outside group, I think we would find that most of the times it occurs from the L and the G community. For example, let's say that you are bisexual and you call up an LGBT center asking for the phone number or some sort of information on local bisexual groups. And the person on the phone says, wouldn't it just be easier if you just came out as gay? And you then said, well, I'm bisexual, so I would like to have the numbers for bisexual groups, please. And they go on uh, saying how it's just better if you came out as gay and, and maybe you should think about whether or not you're gay. And then they never give you the phone number of any sort of bisexual group. That is a classic example of bisexual discrimination. And you might think, I'm just making that up out of my head, but no, that's actually a story that another bisexual has said in a video elsewhere. Um, and these type of things happen. When you, when a bisexual goes to, let's say, in a public LGBT group or an LG group um, that's supposed to be open to whomever, and then they get there, and then the gay person or a lesbian is giving them the dirty eye for infiltrating their group, they are treating you unfairly, or if they say that you aren't necessarily allowed to be here, or that you shouldn't be here, that's unjust treatment, especially if it's like a pu public forum. And what happens when things like this exist? What do you do? I mean, who do you tell? Because gay and lesbians, many of which who are perpetuating it, maybe unknowingly, they don't care. You can't tell them. You might not know many other bisexuals to talk to, and are you gonna tell straight people about this? It's kind of hard. So what do you do? Who do you tell? For the most part, what you do is you just suck it up. And how good does that feel? How good does it feel to have to have something negative happen to you and then just have to suck it up? And let me tell you, fun story about sucking it up. I moved to Hollywood a couple of years ago to be a producer um, and to be an actor. And, and very quickly, I was lucked out. I became the youngest producer at a Disney Channel company. Um, doing promos and for TV shows and movies and stuff like that. But I wanted to work in television. Like, I wanted to be a producer in television. So there was someone on my floor who um, who would pitch TV shows to the person, uh, one of his bosses upstairs. Uh, he worked for the company. 
So as a freelancer, I went to him and I said, hey, um, if I were to you know, come up with a couple of television show ideas, would you pitch them to your bosses? And he said, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I said, well, if you do and it goes through, would you keep, would you like allow me to be involved with the show? And he's like, of course. So I go and I pitch him a couple of ideas, one of which he goes, oh, you know what, I really like that. So he goes and he pitches his, uh, pitches my television show upstairs to the people at the Disney Channel. And when he comes back, I'm excited, right? Um, when he comes back, I said, so how'd it go? And he said, you know what? They liked it and they're thinking about it. Great, great. So two weeks later, he goes back up for another meeting, pitching some other stuff, and he comes back down. So I come back to him and said, so did they make a decision? Do they, have they decided yet? No, no, not yet. They're still thinking about it. Oh, great. So a month goes by and I ask him again. So uh, what do they think? Are they still thinking, are they still thinking about it? Are they gonna do it? He's like, still thinking about it. And two weeks after that, he was fired. Okay, well, there went that. That was my contact and he was now gone. So, okay, time goes on, I leave Disney Channel. I go work somewhere else. I'm sitting in front of a TV about nine months, a year later, and a promo comes on, and it's for a TV show on Disney Channel, which is so clearly based on my idea. And it was a hit. It was a huge hit. It made them so much money. But did I say anything about it? No. Why? Because I wanted to continue working for Disney. And if you go and claiming that you're um, that they've made one of your ideas, they won't hire you anymore. And the industry is such that you can't talk about these things unless no one else in the business will hire you, or at least they'll be very reluctant to hire you. So I just sat on it and I sucked it up. So if you ever meet me in person, you see me staring out at, um, into the stars and I have this like lost look on my face, you know what it's because. It's because I had to suck it up. Sucking it up sucks. But here's the great thing. If you were a, a subject of bisexual discrimination, you no longer have to suck it up. You don't have to suffer through it anymore. BiNet USA is a bisexual advocacy group, and they have received a grant to collect uh, stories of bisexual discrimination just like yours. Um, it's super easy to do. Uh, if you follow the link, there's a link in the description below um, talking about where you can go and click on. There are six questions or just a few questions, most of which are checkboxes that you can answer. In fact, it's so easy, I'll show you how to do it by taking, to, taking you to it right now. So here's what you'll see when you click on the link. You can scroll up to find out more about the Buy Stories project, or you can just go through and just start filling in the information. So for example, I'll fill in some information here. Last name, email address, you can pop in your email address there. Your phone number, if you choose to share, you can add your city, uh, your state, your zip code, your age, uh, your preferred pronouns, so when they're talking about you and or to you, um, they know what to say. Uh, how do you identify? Very specifically, they're looking for people who are bi plus, so that means bi, pan, fluid, queer, um, other non monosexuals. Uh, if you identify with ethnicity, you can include it there. Um, you could also include how what you consider yourself, since I have a YouTube channel and I have a meetup group. I'm a, a community organizer, but they just have activists, so I'll include that. Um, tell us about your relationship with a bi person. Well, it's, I'm talking about myself here. Uh, or they're also looking for stories about from parents or grandparents, other caregivers. So you can include that there. Uh, discriminations you or your loved one faced. What, this is the, the, you know, the basic list of jobs, housing, uh, public service refusal, healthcare. And keep in mind, like an, LGB, an LGBT center would be like public services, um, and the hospital isn't the only form of healthcare there is. Just keep that in mind. Or you can include something like other, in which case, if your discrimination that you felt was not including the list above. You can use a, a brief description there. Um, here is where you get to let it go, where you can uh, no longer have to suck it up. This is where you uh, put your story of discrimination. You can make it as long as you want. Um, keep in mind that this is so that they can share it with other people, including the media, especially the media, about um, what bisexuals go through. And um, here is where you can choose whether or not you will or are willing to talk to the media. You can say no, and that's perfectly fine. I'll be able to use your stories in other ways. 
or you can use, say yes with your name or yes just anonymously. And the most important thing is when you're done, you click the submit button and that's it. So that's it. Pretty easy, right? Uh, so if you have a story about bisexual discrimination, and, and, and think about it, it's not just about whether or not you can't get in the country, be, uh, asylum into the country because you can't prove that you're bisexual, and that happens, that's real. Um, it's also about little things going through life where you're treated unjustly because you're bisexual. And the person who's perpetuating it, all they have to do is be not be bisexual for it to be discrimination. Please, share your stories. They will use these stories to uh, go to the media. You don't. You can use your name. They cannot use your name um, to go to the media and explain to them that there are instances when bisexuals are indeed discriminated against. So that the government can attribute funds to help us with mental health because we have a lot of issues going on in the bisexual community and other positive things, and to convince the biggest perpetrators, in my opinion, which is the LG community that we too are discriminated against and they shouldn't be doing it. But that's it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know of someone who has been discriminated, please uh, show them this video or send them a link to the page where they can share their story. Uh, as you know, I do many videos on the bisexual topic, um, but I don't do them, I do them on a uh, frequently, but I don't do them on a regular basis. So that if you want to know when a new video comes out, you have to click on a little button when you subscribe that says, let me know when a new video comes out. Until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler and don't suck it up anymore. <laughs> Bye.